Hi everyone, Matt here again with Chelsea Guitar Maintenance and Repair. Uh, today I wanted to talk a little bit about pickup phase, uh, phase switching, uh, what it is, what it means, what it sounds like, uh, to see if it's something you might like. A pickup is a coil of wire uh, with a magnet, and that's how pickups work. Whenever you hit the string, it makes electrons move through the coil, and it goes out to the amplifier, and that's your sound on an electric guitar. So uh, when you talk about reversing the phase on a pickup, you're basically swapping the start and the finish of the coil. Uh, generally your pickup starts on the inside of the coil and winds around and around and around to the outside and then that's your finish. Whenever you switch the phase you reverse those two so your sound, your sound, your electrons start at the finish and go in tighter, 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 smaller part of the coil to the start and then out. Um, and that is basically what a phase switch does. It just reverses the start and finish on your pickup. Uh, now, what does that sound like? Uh, well, on this guitar, this is an Imperial uh, old Tisco guitar that I rebuilt and I put a phase switch on it right here. And now the phase switch is only installed on the neck pickup. Um, you can install a phase switch on either pickup. You can do it in all type of different uh, ways. On this one specifically, we've got it on the neck pickup here. So I'm gonna move my pickup selector here to the neck so we'll hear what it sounds like. Now, if we change our phase on our neck pickup, you're not gonna hear a big difference. So let's, again, standard phasing. Reversed. So the standard phase, you know, in phase, the switch down, a little warmer, but very, very similar sound. Does that matter? Well, when you're just on this pickup, no. But now let's go to the middle position where we've got both of our pickups. And let's, now this is a sear, or this is a uh, parallel, so both of these are going out at the same time. Uh, basically like two single coils, like a second or fourth position on a Stratocaster, middle position on a Telecaster. That's basically what we're talking about. That's with the neck pickup in phase. Now let's move it out of phase. sound gets much, much thinner. Now, why is that? Uh, the, the sound coming out of your guitar is an AC signal and it's in the form of a wave. So basically, you've got a waveform with an amplitude and a frequency that is your sound. When you reverse the phase, if you can think of the peaks and valleys in your waveform, if you can think that in standard phase, it starts at the bottom and goes up, down, up, down, up, down. When you reverse it, it's going to start at the top and go down, up, down, up, down, up. And whenever you're listening to two pickups, this pickup is starting, you know, up, down, up, down, up, down. This one's starting down, up, down, up, down, up. And they're listening to the same notes. And what happens is the frequencies cancel each other out. So whenever we reverse this, any frequencies that match between these two pickups, this one's reversed, this one's not it actually cancels it and takes out a lot of those frequencies. That's why it's thinning out so much. Any frequency that this is picking up is canceling out that same frequency that this pickup is grabbing. Again, and we can even on this guitar, you can hear them in series as well. Um, and it's a sound, there's nothing right or wrong about out of phase. Um, Brian May is really known for his out of phase sounds. He's got phase switching on all the pickups on his Red Special. Um, different people have used it for very signature sounds. It can sound almost like a cocked wall sometimes. So you can get some cool sounds out of a, out of an out of uh, out of phase pickup, uh, and it does kind of put you out in the mix, put you in a different space uh, when you're mixing. So. Something to play around with. If you like the sound of it, give it a shot. Um, it's not difficult to wire. I've got another video. Uh, I'll link it over here. If you want to see how to actually wire up a face switch on your guitar. And uh, you know, other than that, we'll uh, catch you next time.